Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're gonna go over some of the early game food basics for when you're starting off your colony. In our case, we're starting on Terra and we're gonna be going over a little bit of the meal lice, meal wood, food, and how to get a sterile environment so that your food lasts a little bit longer. For the most part, I typically go for meal wood as that's abundant on my Terra asteroid. And usually you're just gonna to wanna to grow the things you can actually fertilize right here when you're growing it domestically, you need to be able to fulfill the requirements. In our case, mealwood's gonna be the choice, and usually mealwood's gonna be something you'll find everywhere. Now, what I like to do because of how food preservation is not perfect from the get-go, and you have to live with rotting food, I try to balance out the calories so that the duplicates have enough food generating so that the amount of food actually waiting for us to be eaten is minimal. Now, typically with meal lice, you're going to be seeing here on the meal wood, the meal lice is 600 kcals each and it grows three cycles. That means every three cycles I get 600 kcal. Now every duplicate though, they actually consume a thousand kcals a day. So we need to grow enough meal lice to provide about a thousand a day. So in this case, we're able to have one, two, three, four, five, because five times 600 is 3000 kcals. And that's enough to feed a duplicate for three cycles. So the farm tile, you can see right here, tells me the growth cycle is three cycles. If we grow five meal wood, five times 600 is 3K. That's enough for one duplicate. So that's the math we're using in order to supply our duplicates with food. So right here, we have six duplicates. Right here, we have 20 tiles. And right here, we have 10 tiles. That's six times five, that's 30. And that's how we're doing the math for how much calories we're trying to generate so that we have minimal rot. Now, the second thing we're gonna go over is making a carbon dioxide box. This is used to be the vanilla game food preservation method as you only need it one of the two, sterile atmosphere or deep freeze. And now we only have one of them. As you can see, our meal lice is still rotting a 9% per cycle, but the reduction in decay rate is coming from the CO2. Now, because CO2 is the heaviest gas, as you can see right here, normally all you have to do is make a little pocket like this. I chose to put tiles because I wanted to dig out some of the space below it. And having sand in that area kind of made it tough to leave the natural tiles. So by building out a little dugout like this and having ladders on top, we could run across. And with the beginning, a lot of the times the CO2 is floating around in weird spaces, but because CO2 is the heaviest gas, it's gonna be trapped in this little pocket. Now, the only way the CO2 breaks out is if our oxygen runs thin, meaning that we run out of a oxygen source, in our case, it's algae right now. But if that doesn't happen, the CO2 is gonna stay there indefinitely, and that's gonna help us with reducing the decay rate. But that's gonna be the early game food source that I typically start off my colonies with. I tend to build the farm towels inside the base and just try to make sure that we keep it as cool as possible. The longer we could have the meal wood means the less amount of time we have to spend generating another food source so we could do other things with this time. So we're going to try to maintain this, but this would be our early game food source until we get something else. If you guys have any questions about what we're doing here, some of the math, maybe you guys need some help with some of the other planter crops, leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.